everyone. Thanks for joining me. My name is Captain Kit, aka Captain with a Q. I am a gender performer in Toronto in Canada and I've been asked by Loki J. Von Dorn to do a couple of beard tutorial videos for nonbinary.ua. Um, what I will be using primarily are a couple of my favorite size paintbrushes, some eyelash glue, uh, wefts of werewolf hair, a nice brown mascara, a palette of um, face paints. So these are all water soluble paints. Then of course, the glitter itself. I mix my own glitter sometimes as well as just these sort of little vials that you can pick up at uh, craft stores. As for the adhesive, or if you do have more sensitive skin, using an eyelash glue can definitely be a little bit easier. Also, look into spirit gum. Uh, harder to come off and a little bit harsher on the skin. So just do a couple tests and see what's right for you. The first look um, that I'm going to give you is uh, pretty simple actually. Um, this one I just use a brown mascara for. Uh, so what you're going to do So you're just going to catch all of these little hairs that grow out of your face naturally. And you just want to find um, a nice pressure that gets them coated but doesn't actually stick them to the side of your face. Can you see that? We always have that one weird hair that like grows out to here before anybody notices. Now for the mustache, you want to start in, oh, my cat is about to join me, hey, you want to start close in, and then draw that out. Now, that is the start of this. If you're just doing those sideburns, um, I find that if you do the full beard like this, you can sort of start to see where it looks a little bit more makeup-y. What we're going to do now, we're going to add a little bit of fuzz. So where it's called werewolf hair here, and it's uh, like a fibered weft. Snip that like really, really fine until you end up with like these little clumpies. I don't know if you can see. They're really small. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a very small amount sort of there. And then I just have like this really, uh, you know, it's, it's a brush that's seen better days. Um, you're just going to sort of mark out a little territory and get that sort of spread out. You can use a sponge for this, um, but sponges will sort of disperse this a little more evenly, and sometimes it's good to have a little bit of uh, chaotic chunkiness going to it. So now I've just picked up like a little dust ball, and I'm just going to tap this. And it doesn't take long. It's a really quick little... And then you just continue. And you don't have to do it all along 
sort of pick out the patches that would be the thickest. Yeah, so that's one half, um, and you'll see you'll see the difference. Where this is sort of like, you can still see um, like the skin through it. This has a little bit more, a little bit more texture. You can see it's actually like raised up. That's a fun thing. Um, I'm gonna finish up the other side. Um, the mustache is not going to feel, <laughs> it, it's going to, you don't want it to be as thick as, um, as the beard. Um, and, oh gosh, you'll also notice that if you get it too close up to your nose, you will, uh, have all of that just tickly all day. So just be warned that this might cause <laughs> mild, uh, mild nose picking. Yeah, definitely got some up my nose. Um, you can see, it sort of gives that, oh, I've just woken up and this is where I'm at kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of beard. This is, this is the sort of natural look, day-to-day -day look. Um, I'm also going to show you how you can do some fantasy color looks. You don't actually have to do this, this step, but before, you you go into the glitter beard. If you are doing glitter over top of natural hair, I would suggest <laughs> um, suggest finding an adhesive that's going to be gentle enough to take that out. Hairspray can work. Um, it's a little bit harder to get those tight lines. So just experiment for the glitter. I'm going to be doing a fade uh, from blue to gold to pink and then inverse on the mustache with just a blue you're basically using the color to contour at the same time and then I'm going to Add a little bit of gold. So if you're doing this just on bare skin, this will look a lot more vibrant. Because I have the darker hair underneath, it, uh, it does make this a little bit deeper color. Get those little straggles off. Now I'm also going to use a smaller brush to then just detail that color shift. practice and it'll be better um, and this first step is basically just a guide of where your different uh, where your different glitters are going to go I'm gonna get a little bit of a breeze on great I'm going to do the gold first so that it can blend into the blue and the pink sort of e equally I'm going to show you what you can do with uh, with the spirit gum. <laughs> that same little like <laughs> that same brush that's never going to see a pigment outside of outside of glue and sparkles again. Like you're putting it on and dispersing it, you do want a little bit of chaos. <laughs> 
little chaos on your cheek. I'm going to take out my gold, a little bit of a mixture of different, uh, different gold sparkles of that stuff on there. And then I'm just going to squish it into place. Now this is where you can get like really finicky or you can take a back seat and chill. The first step of this always looks a little bit frantic. Oof. When you're applying the color to the mustache, it's just a little bit a little bit smaller. I mean, unless you're really going for that big bushy. It's starting to take shape, but uh, you can definitely see that it's, you know, a little bit, a little bit scattered still. So never fear. Get the next two colors on. So blue and red, blue and in here. All right, my three different colors on, um, and it's pretty simply blocked. I could technically stop here, but uh, I, I always like to be a little bit extra. We're going to reintroduce that base color over top again. This is where you're going to be able to blend these colors together. define the lower sections of the beard in a slightly darker color. So I'm going to start with a lighter color at the top of this to blend down in. You see how it gives it that nice sort of like 3D effect? I have a darker, darker blue underneath sort of give it that depth. I always like to accentuate a little dip it in my chin a little bit. Great. Now for the mustache, you do want to be a little bit more precise in the direction of all of these brush strokes. And this is where you can sort of put a little bit of your own style and flair into the shape. couple of defining colors up on my eyebrows as well. Et voila. That's how I do it. Not, uh, not a lot of stuff used and not a lot of money spent. Find a drag look that helps you feel comfortable when you're presenting. I hope that this helps, and I want to say thank you to Loki J. Von Dorn and nonbinary.ua and your captain saying fair winds and following seas and keep it queer, okay?